Petra Kvitova versus Serana Castella is the second semi-final for the ladies Miami Open for 2023. And both ladies have surprised to get to this semi-final stage. Castella started the tournament off unseeded and would take on the wildcard Gomez in the first round. And after a close first set, would get through in straights 7-6, 6-2. In the second round, she'd take on the number five seed Garcia, who she had beaten last week in Indian Wells. This time, the scoreline was even more impressive, getting through in straights 6-2, 6-3. In the third round, she'd take on the qualifier Mukova, who'd been in very good form the last couple of tournaments. And after a close first set, Castella would get through in straights, 7-5, 6-1. In the fourth round, she'd take on Von Drusova, who'd also been very impressive the last couple of weeks. But again, after a close first set, Castella would get through in straight sets, 7-6, 6-4, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Castella would take on the number two seed, Sabalenka, who had been very impressive for the entire week, and had only lost two matches for the year. But this was no problem for Castella, getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-4, to get to the semifinals. Kvitova started the tournament off as the number 15 seed, and would get a buy in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on the Czech youngster, Nuskova, in a battle of the generations. But this was easy for Kvitova, winning in straight sets, 6-3, six, 6-love. Six, in the third round, she'd take on the number 22 seed, Vekic. And after a close second set, Kvitova would get through in straights, 6-4, six, 7-6. Seven, six. In the fourth round, she'd take on the qualifier, Gracheva, who had been very good in recent weeks, taking out Ons Jabur earlier in this tournament. And after a very close set in the second, Kvitova would get through 7-5, seven, 7-6 seven, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Kvitova will take on the number 18 seed, Alexandrova. After dropping the second set, we'd have to fight to win in three, 6-4, 3-6, 6-3, to advance to the semifinals. These two ladies have played 10 times before with Kvitova leading the head-to-head 6-4, but Kastea has won two of their last three matches over the past few seasons. If is gonna win this one, she needs to make Kvitova move, and she also needs to keep her cool. She's been doing that really well this week, and she's actually said that in interviews as well, but she's playing the best tennis of her career, and she thanks her coach for that, Thomas Johansson. So she needs to use that to effect against Kvitova. If Kvitova's gonna win this one, she needs to get that serve on track. Too many double faults and too many errors from the serving of Kvitova in that second set against Alexandrova. Luckily, she put it together in the third set, but if she does that against what we saw with Kastea a couple of days ago, she's going to get beaten bad. This is a very interesting matchup because, of course, we didn't expect these two here. We thought Sabalenka might be here in place of Kastea, and who knows? Kvitova sometimes does make big matches like this. Remember Cincinnati last year? But I'm going to go with Kvitova in this one based on experience. I think her experience at Grand Slam level and winning big trophies will get her to the final. I think it's going to be a really close three setter. Let me know down in the comments below who you think is going to win this one.